In contact, most of the parameters can be automated using the capabilities of your host. Logic Pro X is no exception, and with the new smart controls, it couldn't be easier. In today's tutorial, we'll discuss automating contact in Logic Pro using smart controls. And never miss a tutorial by subscribing to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash adsrtoots. Smart controls let you control the sound of the selected track using a set of on-screen controls. Smart controls can control both channel strip and plugin parameters, including software instruments and effects. Smart controls provide a quick alternative to opening plugin windows and adjusting individual parameters. Each smart control has a set of on-screen controls Adjusting a single screen control can change one or more parameters for the track's channel strip, instrument, or effect plugins. The screen controls are labeled to help you understand which aspect of the sound each one affects. Smart controls typically include EQ or tone controls, reverb, and other effect controls, and controls specific to the type of track or instrument. For example, the smart control for a synth might include screen controls for choosing a waveform and adjusting the resonance and filter cutoff, while one for a string instrument might include controls for changing the articulation. So to work with smart controls, you open the smart controls pane. And there's a couple ways to do it. You can hit B, you can go to view, uh, show smart controls, or you can go window, open smart controls. Okay, before I show you how to use this with contact, let's just take a look at uh, some of the things that you can do with smart controls. So you can change the layout by clicking on the name. Um, this changes the buttons, um, the mappings, it changes the background, etc. So you can kind of find something that you like. Um, do modern synth. General audio. Let's just use general audio for now. Okay. So let's jump into contact and um, do some mappings. So by default, smart controls automatically map the first seven um, controls in, in contact. And this is where you, you choose how to um, what you want to do with the mapping or if you want to change it to something different. Okay, so I'm going to delete all the mappings because I want to start from scratch. Okay. Okay, so one thing that um, I recommend doing excuse me, in a logic is to assign automation parameters first before you do it in contact. And the reason why I recommend doing this is because if you assign automation in contact first, like let's say you, let me open up contact so you can see. Let's say you, um, let's say you want to automate cutoff and resonance and you want to assign it to zero and you assign it right now if you do that what will happen is this parameter will end up at the bottom of this list of 511 parameters or 512 parameters and so what that means is in logic you would have to select it you actually have to scroll all the way to the bottom which is stupid so a way to get around this is what you do is You assign a parameter in, in in logic first, then you assign it in um, contact. The only downfall to that is you won't get the name at first. It'll update itself, but when you first do it, you won't have the name. All right, so I'm going to just do zero, zero, one. Two, 
three. Four. And I think for now, four is fine just to show automation capabilities, but I will map more than four in the smart controls. OK, so now we have it already assigned in contact. So we have um, four automation lanes, one through four. OK, or actually, I'm sorry, five, zero through four. OK, so then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come into contact. I'm going to assign cutoff. And do you see how it picked up the values? Okay, so if I click this, you see the name. So, so just remember, if you do it in, in logic first, you don't have to scroll to the bottom, and you still get the name once you assign it. Okay, so now I get resonance. Um, I'm gonna come into an EQ three, or actually, I see I did one, two. Three. Or I'm gonna do EQ EQ three and just do the first um, band. So frequency bandwidth and gain okay Okay, so this is just one part of the equation. Um, we now need to assign smart controls to the same parameters. Okay, so I'm gonna open up smart controls. I'm open up in a window so I can you can see it better. Okay, and to edit your layout, you just click on the the, inf inf the inspector tab. Okay, so I'm gonna click on the first one, and I'm going to assign it to contact. And see, once again, this is exactly what I was telling you about. Um, so here's another tip. If you want to do smart controls, do it before you assign it in contract in, in contact as well. So just do it the same way we did with automation. So assign it first in logic before you assign it in contact. That way you don't have to scroll to the bottom. So I'm going to say bandwidth. And this is how you change the name of the control. Frequency and gain. So I have cut off. And I have map the last one. And now we have resonance. Okay, so now we have our smart controls map. So let's take a look at um, contact to make sure that we can control these parameters. So display contact. And let's see, let's move cut off. As you can see, we have cut off moving. And we have resonance. All right, so now to record automation, all you need to do is arm the track, set the automation type. So I'm going to set it to, um, let's set it to touch. Okay. And just start recording and moving your knobs.
And I'm just going to set this just to read so I don't overwrite it. Let me loop this section so you can see it in contact. All right, so now you see um, automation in contact um, being automated, and we did it all by using the smart controls and logic. Now, these um, these knobs can also be mapped to an external MIDI controller. I don't have mine connected right now, but of course, you would probably want to use that versus using your mouse. But this makes uh, it a lot easier to group um, the parameters that you need. Uh, up front without having to keep you know go keep going back and forth between contact and logic to do to do um, automation okay so and although this applies to logic pro x um there's similar concepts in any any other DAW. they might not have the smart controls but you can most definitely um record automation and map parameters to your hardware controller um, so that you can manipulate it without having to use your mouse so there's a lot more functionality to using smart controls in Logic Pro X. Um, for more information, be sure to check out the online manual via the help menu. And that will be help, Logic Pro help. And don't forget to check out our website at www.contacttutorials.com for more contact tutorials and sounds. ADSR contact tutorials, supercharger contact skills. This is DJ Nice signing off until next time. Now go make some music.